Good morning students welcome back this is dr sirisha associate professor mlri institute of technology computer science department so i am back in front of you again to continue web technologies so we were discussing about html which is a client side programming language so we have started and uh, gone through what is html and um, how html is used for web designing so we'll see what are the different elements the tags different attributes and uh, what are the different properties uh, of uh, different elements <coughs> which is nothing but attributes and few glimpses of what is html okay so in the last class we have seen that we have used what is h1 h2 h3 which are the heading tags and also the p tag which is used for the paragraph tag so in continuation with that we will see some more uh, i mean elements which are tags uh, which are used in designing so if you see html pre element so whenever you wanted to give a predefined text that means uh, which is suppose if you wanted to give address or you wanted to give a particular tab space here if this is what your web page a tab space here and also up to here these are the margins and somewhere around you wanted to give some copyright at the rate copyright so you wanted to display this as it is <coughs> okay then what you'll do uh, we'll just write it at in between this okay so for this if you wanted to give that we will just use a pre tag okay pr is fixed width font for preserving both spaces and line breaks so as i told you which is a line break this is a line break and the spaces suppose tab space you wanted to give then followed by you wanted to print some text okay then if you can give your uh, say you wanted to print mlrit in between okay in in between your page then you can give pre tag in between and give a tab space how you will be giving how many tab spaces you'll be giving in the text or the code so the same will be printed <coughs> then you have html links link is nothing but whenever you wanted to navigate from one page to another in a just one click then what you'll do will go for html links so that can be created using a a tag a tag a is an element href is a attribute <coughs> horizontal reference which is a attribute that's a property of your a tag so any value for the attribute can be given using this https some something some value what are the value you wanted to print that value can be given to href and the, in, that is be that will be the property for your anchor tag a is nothing but anchor okay and once you close this the property once you pro close this property whatever you are can we wanted to give it as a link okay for this what will be the output so this will be the output whatever the text you are giving here that will be displayed as a link if you see here the text we have given in the black font text but the content which is displaying as a link is displaying in a blue color <coughs> there's one more difference okay so when you click on this it will navigate where so where you should navigate that destination you should give here so what is the destination your mlr institute of technology website so that's what we have given it here this is called hyperlink okay hyperlink can be given using a a tag which is called anchor tag which will be used with a href which is a property of a tag and followed by the content to be displayed as a link so this is the output so i'll show you a small example on this for this <coughs> you need to take a notepad a simple editor so what you'll do in the <coughs> notepad is so what is the first and foremost tag that you give is we can write a doc type okay doc type html say i'm giving doc type okay html so this is a first tag but it is not a uh, considered as a tag but we are te telling that the following document which you are giving is of html type okay then just give html which is a first and foremost tag for every html program then you will have every starting tag will have a close tag therefore close your html tag then you have head part so as this is again first uh, live program that i am showing you i am using a 
structure of uh, html so in the head part you will just have your title part so i am giving example for hyperlink okay so this is the title why i am giving the title is <coughs> by seeing that heading which is displayed on your title bar of your browser so when you are displaying that it will you know, the user can come to know okay what all about the program is okay then close your title part then here once your title is closed you can close the head there itself okay then here you need to give a body the body has to be closed before your html is closed okay body is closed therefore here what you have to give here you need to give the body of the program that means what what are the content you wanted to display on your web page that will be displayed here so how it should be displayed what i wanted to do i want to give a <coughs> say pre tag i'm using pre what i want i want to just have few spaces followed by hyperlink i wanted to give but i am not treating it as a heading if you wanted to give heading you can use h1 tag okay that is one more tag but just an example for pre tag i am just giving this pre okay then here i'll just give a tag so a is anchor tag as i told you and here href is a property wherever whenever you are using a attribute it should be within the same element so you are not closing the a tag here so if you are closing the a tag here then href will not become an attribute so don't close it here so you give a space okay one space href equals to here it will be the value what is the value www dot i am giving mlrit.ac dot in some value this value indicates the destination page okay so just close this and here hyperlink what my link should be okay i'll just give click me to go to to open mlrit okay something like this just to have a good understanding okay i'm giving this what i should do i should close my anchor tag this is a link you will get a link only i am using pre tag with a tag in my program so how you have to save this so you have to save it with say i am giving example so ex2 uh, dot html okay ex1 already i have <coughs> all files then just uh, i am storing it on the desktop so just save it okay if you wanted to execute it what you have to do you have to go to your desktop check where your program is example to just double click on that so you got this output so what is the output it is just displaying you click me to open mlrit and if you see here whatever the tab space you have given in your pre tag so that is displaying and hyperlink you are getting okay if you wanted to change this uh, into so i'll just uh, use this h1 also here h1 tag and uh, mlrit okay i am just closing h1 what is h1 h1 is a heading tag as we discussed in our last class okay i am just saving it again and uh, just refresh your page so that your modification whatever you have done will be applicable to your output so this is what head work so what is a hyperlink it is it is just to click and navigate to other page so here we are clicking this link which is of click me to open mlrit which is in blue color every hyperlink will be displayed in a blue color just click it it will modify this www https dot i'll give so that we will use a protocol here okay https is a hypertext transfer protocol uh, so that i am using here and just refresh and just click on this so it is navigating to it mlrit so previously why it didn't got uh, navigated because http is not given that's a transport protocol which will act as a vehicle for transporting your uh, uh, link uh, your page from one to other okay so this is what a basic uh, html program for hyperlinks okay and if you see this we have a examples like h1 is for heading tag so here the, this is a element we are taking this as a element because h1 
P, H2, Br, what are the tags you are using? Everything will be given in angular brackets and these are all are called as HTML elements. Okay, then so this, this is a structure as I already covered this. Then coming to images, HTML image can be displayed using IMG tag. Okay, we are talking about attributes. Till now we have discussed HTML elements which are nothing but the tags and these are the attributes. In anchor tag we have seen href as an attribute. Similarly, we will see what are the attributes we have for the image tag. <coughs> image can be displayed using IMG. Okay. SRC is nothing but a source. So, this is what attribute. So, we are not closing the angular bracket here, we are closing at the end. So, how many attributes you have for this image tag? So, this will be 1, this is 2 and height and also width, 4 we are giving. So, what is the first one? Source. Source is nothing but what is the image that you wanted to display will be displayed here. Alt is nothing but if a browser is not compatible to your image, then alt will be displayed, then height and width of the image will be given. Okay. So, let me give here, I will just include it here, IMG, it is an image tag. Source should be mandatory field attribute because uh, what is the image that you need to display should be given. So, I am just taking it from the pictures, uh, say let us sample, okay, let me take one uh, picture. Okay, I am taking some uh, image, so save images, I am saving it on the desktop using image jpeg, just I have saved it, okay, which is not required, whatever the images I wanted to display, I am just storing it here. So, what I have to do, I have to take that, right, so go to your desktop and uh, img is here, okay, then I am copying the path okay where my image is so that path i am copying just paste it in the source now what is the image file img is the image file name just what i will do here i will just have to change this because this is a uri i wanted to give so at the end just give img dot jpg my, because my file type is jpeg file so i am giving jpeg as extension so, height and width can also be given, height equals to, so if you see here, height and uh, width we are just giving in terms of <coughs> pixels, so that pixels you can all, you can give here, so I will give here 20 px, px is nothing but a pixel, remember here h uh, height is not given in double quotes, value should be given in the double quotes and uh, width also should be given in the double quotes. Okay, 20 pixel. I am closing my image tag now. Okay, then alt also I will give because alt if browser is not compatible, it will display this. So, alt is attribute equals to value. What is the value that I need to give? Say I am giving about HTML. So, I will just type HTML only. Okay, let me execute this. So, for execution, you have to open your browser. So, just refresh your page or go to your file and go to your file, where is our file on the desktop example 2, just click on this. See, here browser is not compatible with the given format or given image, then what it is doing, it is displaying the HTML. So, what is the alt we have given, alt we have given it as HTML, so that you are see, you are able to see here, so this is the alt. Okay, now so to see the image, what we can do is just go to desktop, open this, open with with Chrome. Okay, even though you are not getting, then we can try it with Firefox. Okay, it's also taking a alt. So, why that image, image we have, but it is not compatible, it is not displaying. Suppose if it is compatible, you will get the image, okay. So, that is the use of your alt, alt is alternate name that is given for the image that we wanted to display. So, let me give this as 50, 50 and here let me give a br tag br is nothing but a break tag which can be used to, to print the content in the new line br is a new line to print the output in the new line so here if you refresh this 
okay html you got in the down right so this is one way of uh, displaying your image mozilla also is not supported so okay so this whatever you are getting this is the image part then moving further you can try it with other uh, path other picture uh, and you can try displaying the image then title attribute as i told you title is used as a element in the head tag we are giving it as a suppose if you have head tag so inside head what you are giving you are giving the title but here title is a attribute so title can be used in two formats one is element so if it is element we'll use in the head tag and also as an attribute so what is the attribute attribute is a some value you are giving okay so for p tag you have taken a title as an attribute let us display this also so let us take one p tag hello students just as some text i am giving to print as a paragraph okay and my p will be closed now p uh, for p if i wanted to give a title as an attribute then where you have to give you have to give it here title equals to so you have to give here uh, csc students so let some text i am wanted to display then how it is going to help us the title as an attribute will check just refresh the page so hello students you are getting right so if you display if you over your uh, cursor on to hello students so, so you are able to see csc students here right so you are getting like a pop up okay that is the use of your title so wherever you wanted to hover and display some text you will be using the title as an attribute for the uh, element element p tag okay so moving further href we have already discussed then abbr is nothing but a abbreviation or acronym so here abbr also can be uh, used your uh, title attribute okay that attribute whatever the abbreviation you wanted to give that whenever you hover on to the mlr it this ml malri lakshmanadi group of institutions will be displayed okay and address is one more element uh, we are talking about elements here okay address is one more element and you have written okay a h ref okay b r tag so we are using them and how you wanted to display in that way you your uh, what your uh, address will be displayed so why we are giving address specifically here is um, whatever the content you are giving so we will use colons commas uh, something like hyphens and all uh, all the special characters will be using in the giving address okay given address so that's why we are we can use it in the address tag otherwise you can also go with other options other tags okay next html styles so so far we have discussed what are html elements what are html attributes now style styles is nothing but to give you uh, styling for your web page web content that is to be displayed so here body so we have given body here right so we'll just include this style equal to background color so already we have given body so i'll just write style equals to uh, this will be attribute background color okay so what my background color should be that i have to give it here say i'm give it as hello okay so this is what background color i'm giving whatever the color you wanted to give that can be given here which where you are giving we are giving the style as a attribute so whenever you are giving style as a attribute <coughs> that can be given for the entire body entire body means entire web page you will get just see the reflection how it is uh, how your output is changed so this is the yellow color so your background can complete background is affected because where we have given we have given only for body tag body tag will include the entire screen of your web page okay so this is styling 
so along with the style tag uh, in the body tag we can also use the same style tag for h1 uh, what are the heading tags that you are using h1 to h6 then p tag so like that okay so the syntax for giving the style um, your uh, css is a style equals to property value so what is a property background is a property and uh, your light gray here is a value what we have given yellow is the value okay then so these are other formatting elements so here b stands for bold to display in bold color em again this is emphasized text it is similar to italic italic you will get i also stands for italic small text strong text strong is a important text then subscript subscript say suppose if you wanted to give to n this is a subscript for this you have to use this sub tag super tag superscript like two power n you wanted to give so here this n is displayed as a superscript so that's a uh, superscript sup tag is used defines inserted text ins deleted text d del and mark if you wanted to highlight any text you have to use this mark these are some formatting text elements or text um, tags that we can use okay let me you know, display some content in italic here so i have given h1 mlrit so this i may display in italic so i'll give i tag inside h1 okay because that my heading should be affected so i have to close the heading the i tag see how uh, the output has changed so this is changed to italic okay these are the formatting elements then moving for the html table to display the table we have a table tag table element with the three different sub elements those are tr tag td tag th tag th is a heading so here these are the headings so these are we will give in the th tags these are all data so these are all we will give in the td tag but my td should be in a single row there i have to give tr i have to give okay so uh, in the program so i just wanted to give a two row so let me give here table table tag and uh, close the table tag before my body is getting closed okay how my table should be with a two row column two row table so i'm giving a tr tag inside tr i just wanted to give my first row as a heading so h th i have to give uh, let me give serial number then close my th this is my first heading in my first row so close my th tag then i have to close here uh, say student name okay so i am giving a student name but what my student name should be student name is a heading so what i have to do which tag i have to use th tag i have to use so <coughs> close your th tag at the end yeah now my two headings are over that means my first row is over if my first row is over i have to close my tr tag then and there itself after the headings are over okay now what i need to do second row second row once heading is over we have to display the content so my content should be what does the tag td tag i have to use td with serial number say 1 is my serial number slash td and uh, my one more uh, data should be student name right what is the other heading we have given one is a serial name and the other one is a student name so serial name we have given student name say suppose uh, we are giving student so slash td okay table is used and the sub tags tr tags are used th tags are used right my tr is over now my tr has started here in the first row it is over but my td has started but where we have to give tr we have to give before my td is getting started so here this will be the, the second row so that's why tr is given again so close your uh, second row whenever it is finished so let me save this see the output just refresh the page okay so you couldn't see the borders so just for table tag you can use the attribute border equals to say 5 just refresh so you are getting a border clear so this is table so for this serial number student name we have used th and this is the name okay moving further 
we have different attributes for the table tag like a line where uh, in the web page whether you want it at the left center or right bg color which is a background color b order either it is one or zero so if you want to display the borders or not so if you see in our output border five we have given that means one means you will have a thin border five means thicker border if you don't want the border then we'll make it as a zero cell padding it's a space between the cell wall and the cell content let me show you here cell wall is this one student name and cell content will be the student name right so if this is say this is a table this is one cell okay so content is this so this distance is nothing but your cell padding this distance is nothing but your cell padding cell spacing is from this to this how much space you need so that will be the cell spacing suppose let me give here cell spacing also as an attribute cell spacing so let me give this as a 5 okay see how my table is going to affect now the space between the two cells is very little but let me refresh so the space has been increased so how you wanted to display your table in that way you can organize your attributes with the values that is the use of cell spacing similarly cell padding can also be included next frame which specified the parts of outside borders that should be visible okay so frame and values can be void above below horizontal sides okay left hand side right hand side okay these are all values you can use for a frame rules and which specifies the parts inside borders inside the borders if you wanted to make any borders inside then you can give these values none groups rows width you can either give in pixels like we have given width for the image 10 px like that percentage also can be given like 25 percent 10 percent in percentages also we can give it okay so this is about the table attributes these are all uh, already we have used a cell spacing so similarly you can also use the other also border also we have used similarly you can also try with the other attributes these are about table attributes so in this class i wanted to tell just of whatever the topics we have covered elements which are nothing but tags attributes which are nothing but a source alt width height okay background color so these are all attributes tags table tag h1 tag pr tags p tag prd tag address tag lbr tag so all that we have discussed styles just to, to give style tag inside various uh, elements other styles can be given as an attribute then formatting elements which are bold italic formatting the text okay subscript superscript all that we have discussed table element which is a table itself table attributes cell spacing cell padding okay width height anything can be given border background color everything can be given so that is about today class hope everyone has gone uh, understood good uh, about elements attributes and whatever we have discussed today thank you all